To use this feature in Prime, you first need to become a Loop Pro member with access to the MIDI Out feature. You can subscribe to become a pro on loopcommunity.com. Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about how you can use MIDI cues in Prime to sync Prime on your Mac to a Mac computer that's running your Lyric software like ProPresenter. So let's dive in. So first, we're going to take a look at the ProPresenter computer to set up a MIDI network to make sure the two computers can interact. So you first need to make sure that both computers are on the same Wi-Fi network. We're on Loop Community on both, so we're all set. Now you need to do a spotlight search of audio MIDI setup. And when this comes up, you're going to see this window that says audio devices. But we actually want to open the show MIDI studio underneath the window. So let's open that up. And from here, you want to click this network icon, configure network driver. So when you come in here, first thing you want to do is add a session. There should be a session under here, but if there's not, click add and then turn it on. Once it's on, you can see any computer under here or any other device that's on your same MIDI network. My other computer is not listed under here, so I'm gonna hop over to that one to set up the MIDI network on the other computer. Now that I'm on the Prime computer, I'm gonna make sure that we're connected to Loop Community. You wanna make sure that at your church, you're on a private MIDI network or a network that's not going to have a bunch of devices on Sunday morning interfering with it. So once you're on the correct network, come to Audio MIDI Setup again, click Window and Show MIDI Studio. Because this is a different OS, the network button isn't right here, it's right here. If we double click, it looks the same. Make sure you turn this session on. If you don't see one, you can just click add and it'll add the session. Then click the check mark. And now I made sure that this is called Prime Computer so that when I'm on the Pro Presenter computer, I'm not confused. You also wanna make sure under who may connect to me that anyone is selected. So now let's jump over back to the Pro Presenter computer. So now that we're in the ProPresenter computer, we want to make sure that ProPresenter has the ability for the MIDI network to work so that Prime and the tracks can sync to our slides. So once you have your slides in here, I just have one song for This Is Amazing Grace. You will probably have more. Um, but then I'm going to come into ProPresenter Preferences. Click on the devices over here, and this will be blank. So you want to add a MIDI device. So now we're in here and all you have to select is under sources, it's like the name of your session. Ours was session one. So now that's selected. Let's click MIDI map. And this is where all of the different features or functions in ProPresenter, this is the MIDI note that they'll accept. So you can see next slide is 13. We're actually going to use trigger slides so we can trigger specific slides in our tracks in Prime. So you'll want to make sure that whatever this is, is the note of the cue you're creating in Prime. We recommend putting this at zero and then hitting autofill and then matching it up to that. You can hit MIDI map again since we're already at zero. Hit back and then make sure you hit connect and that this turns green. If this is green, then ProPresenter is ready to accept MIDI cues. So let's jump back over to the Prime computer. You can exit out of the session. And in here, I have my set list of songs and you'll see all of these green lines and these are all MIDI cues that I've already set up in the song. But I'm gonna show you how to set up your MIDI cues and then we'll jump back over and watch how it works with ProPresenter. First, you wanna make sure you click settings. And as long as you're a Loop Pro member with access to the MIDI cues and MIDI out function, you'll see MIDI cues connection. So we're gonna click under here and the name of our session will pop up. And we'll select that. And so now Prime is able to send out these MIDI cues. To edit your MIDI cues in a song, just hit edit, just like you would for the arrangement, and edit MIDI cues. So now to add a cue, you can double tap, and here you have what you want that note to actually do, note on, off, or if you wanna send control changes or program changes, we just wanna send note on to control our lyrics. Under note, this is what matches in that MIDI mapping bank in ProPresenter. So for all of our cues in this song, we're gonna set them to 20 so that it triggers the slide. Then for the specific slide number, whatever slide you want to trigger, you can change the velocity to. So in here, we have our first slide right here, and it's note 20 and velocity one for slide one. So I've gone ahead and set all of these up already. 
One thing to note is that you can zoom in, which makes it much easier to play through the song and set your MIDI cues. We also recommend making sure that you set the cues up just a little bit before you actually want the words to show so it's easier for your congregation to follow along. One other thing I want to mention is if you're in Edit MIDI Cues and you zoom into our end section, you'll see I have two MIDI notes right here. This one triggers the end slide in Pro Presenter, but this one is actually my next playlist item and that's going to send it to the next song. So next playlist item in Pro Presenter for me is 11 and the velocity can just be at one. And so this will actually trigger my next song. So click save, click done, and let's zoom out. So now that I've set up my MIDI network in Prime, my Pro Presenter computer, and my cues in Prime, we're ready to play our tracks so that our cues will trigger our slides. So I'm going to play the track in Prime, and you'll see when it hits this intro first two, cue three, in the intro four. section, it's going to cue my intro slide in Pro Presenter. The velocity of the notes we picked in Prime matches this number right here in Pro Presenter. So for example, this slide is MIDI note 20 for trigger slide, and then velocity 3. When we get to the verse, you'll see this automatically play. And there we go. Using MIDI out in Prime is an easy way to make sure that your lyrics are in sync with your tracks, so you don't have to worry about them being out of time and you can focus on leading worship. Become a pro today on loopcommunity.com.